Tristan Thomas. We pick up tonight with WDA Hoops. Number one, Minot travels to take on the in-state team that gave the Majets one of their toughest tests the first time they played in Minot. The Majets hitting the road to face Mandan late first half. Maggie Fricky getting it to Lily Bell. Drives the lane, spins and kisses it off the glass for the basket with a foul. Three-point play for Minot. Next, Majets possession. Bell going down low to Fricky. This time the fake and the easy lay-in, Minot extending their lead. The Braves trying to keep pace past to Sarah Helderop, and she goes to the rim, splitting the defense for the left-hand finish, and Minot rolls on with an 80-60 road win. Same teams meet on the boys' side. Minot protecting a lead in the first Protecting a half-game lead in the league, rather. First half, Hudson Sheldon takes the pass behind the back. Pops from the elbow, good to go, and the Braves lead early. Sheldon not just scoring, this time drives. Swings it to an open T.J. Brownotter in the corner. Nothing but nylon, 15-3 run to start for Mandan. How about that? The Magicians looking for an answer. Logan Conklin gets to the paint, sinks the jumper to cut into the lead. Minot makes the comeback to beat the Braves, 81-69. Moving to Century. The Patriots welcome in St. Mary's off the opening tip. The Saints get it to Lexi Gerving, gets to the bucket for the wide open layup. St. Mary's strikes first in this one right away. Patriots respond. Eden Fridley, the crossover, tacking towards the rim, splits defenders, finishing with the left hand finger roll. Century gets the win 52 36. Same teams meet on the boys' side as well. Second half, Saints trailing. Nick Remich in transition. He'll get the big man, he'll meet the big man at the bucket. Gets the layup to go through contact. Century on the run now. Gibson Kennebrew gets to the rim. Can't get the land to go, but Drew Spear is there for the putback and the Patriots sweep. St. Mary's, the boys winning by 13. Over to Legacy. And they're hosting well-traveled Williston. Second half, Sabres lead by double figures. Pass to the corner, Aiden Westgard knocks down the triple from the corner, extending the lead. Suing Coyotes possession. How about Isaiah St. Romain crossing over, gets to the lane. Count the hoop and the harm for the NDSU signee for football. Williston cutting into the lead, but Legacy picks up the win, 76-70. to 70. In the girls' game, also Legacy winning big. Dickinson hosting Bismarck for a pair. The road team wins big for the girls, and the Bismarck boys hang on for a sweep.